My name is Ron Ward. God called me when I was a college student living a self-centered life, pursuing the American dream, and through Mark's gospel study, led me to meet Jesus personally as my Lord and Savior. I was studying with Pastor Abraham Kim at that time while I was a college student. Jesus gave me a new life and a new hope and a new vision and called me to live as a shepherd for American college students and for the sake of world mission. Since then, I have lived as a full-time staff member in UBF by God's grace. For the last 19 years, I have served as a senior pastor of Chicago UBF, and I became a grandfather a couple of years ago. Um, I'm not going to give you dates, uh, just let you know that it's been a while since I was uh, met Jesus personally. I really thank God for the encouraging presentations of Dr. Ezra Cho and Missionary Wan So. There are also insightful messages posted online by our general director, Pastor Moses Yoon. And I trust that everyone has read or listened to his message. It's really very helpful in understanding the post-COVID-19 world, and it gives clear spiritual direction for us to respond well as God's people. I found it quite enlightening and helpful. And now to follow up on what they have presented, I want to briefly share the importance of maintaining fellowship in God's word during COVID-19. 1 John 1.3 says, We proclaim to you what we have seen and heard, so that you also may have fellowship with us. And our fellowship is with the Father and with his Son, Jesus Christ. Fellowship in the Word of God has always been central to the ministry of University Bible Fellowship. Most of our ministry activity has been focused on Christ-centered Bible study, both one-to-one -one and in small groups, sharing reflections based on our Bible studies, worshiping together with well-prepared Christ-centered Bible messages, and praying together. As we have all experienced, when we hear and respond to God's word with sincere repentance and faith, the word of God transforms us as individuals and helps us build up a loving spiritual community. The appearance of COVID-19 has brought about a change in the way we carry out our ministry from in-person to mostly online. In Chicago, we made this transition in the middle of March. We began having online Sunday worship service, Bible studies, campus fellowship meetings, elders meetings, staff meetings, etc. When we began online ministry, we had to take a crash course in new technologies. Especially Shepherd Tim McKeithran and Missionary Joshua Min spent many sleepless nights to master and implement new technologies for our Sunday worship service. By God's grace, we learned how to do it and could provide a quality online worship for our members. What has been the result? <clears throat> Initially, our worship attendance increased dramatically. We usually had between 750 and 900 views <clears throat> for our weekly Sunday worship service. Once we even had 1,100 views. Before going online, our in-person worship attendance was about 300 to 325 per week. Three weeks ago, we, we resumed in-person worship in smaller groups. Now about 100 persons in total attend three different services in person each week. We're careful to keep the civil regulations for distancing, wearing masks, hand washing and sanitizing and so forth. We also have about 450 to 600 online views per week. Among those who worship online <clears throat> are some of our former Bible students, even from the 1980s and 1990s. 
They moved to different states. We hadn't heard from them for a long time, but somehow they found our online worship service and tuned in. And some of them were so encouraged by the word of God, they called their Bible teachers and resumed one-to-one Bible study with them. These people are growing spiritually and having an influence on their families, friends, and communities. The number of one-to-one Bible studies was initially about 200 per week before COVID-19. This number was unaffected by the change to online meeting. I'm especially grateful for our older members who have learned new technology to continue having Bible studies with their precious Bible students. Some of our members found the opportunity to invite again those they had met on campus in the past. And the number of our one-to-one Bible studies is going up, uh, recently passing 250. Our elders and leaders are praying positively to have 500 per week. Many people thought that our offering may decrease when we went online. But we learned how to offer via quick pay, even our older members. And the amount of our Sunday offerings has not decreased at all. In fact, it has increased even though many also have given sacrificially for the relief of UBF leaders internationally. Based on these facts, I can say that our chapter's spiritual strength has not diminished, but has been growing during the past five months. I believe the main reason for this is that we have fellowship with God and with Christ through the word of God by his grace. 1 John 1.3 says, We proclaim to you what we have seen and heard, so that you also may have fellowship with us. And our fellowship is with the Father and with his Son, Jesus Christ. When we hear the gospel through the apostles' teaching and accept it, we enter into fellowship with the Father God and our Lord Jesus Christ. Since the Father and Son are infinite and eternal, this fellowship transcends time and space. It crosses all human barriers to unite us as one. This fellowship strengthens us to overcome the world and shine the light of the gospel in these dark times. Though it has been God himself who has worked among us, I am also grateful for his dedicated servants. I am grateful for the deep commitment of our Chicago staff and leaders to study the word of God, share Christ-centered messages, and to teach the Bible as a priority. I am grateful for the love of God in the hearts of our members, which has compelled them to find new ways to have Bible study and to be faithful to their beloved Bible students. Recently, about 40 members from the Midwest participated in the Global Project with Steve Shadrach and met college student workers from around the USA and the world who are looking for ways to share fellowship and have student ministry in the new semester and new year. Uh, They have learned many things, and I believe they're going to practice them. We are eager to learn from them and support them in campus ministry in the months to come. I'm grateful for the earnest prayers of our elders and all leaders and members for the ministry of God's word. I'm grateful for the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has empowered us to serve his word by the strength the Holy Spirit gives. I've shared about Chicago UBF because I can testify firsthand to God's work here. I believe this has also been the experience of many brothers and sisters throughout the UBF ministry. My prayer is that we may stay focused on Christ-centered Bible study, engaging all the technologies and tools available so that God's word may be proclaimed in every way possible, through every means possible, and that we may have fellowship in God and in Christ with one another. He will give us his strength to overcome the world and shine the light of his love and his saving grace 
in this dark world. I thank God for the online forum. I believe this is a very important way for us to share fellowship in God's Word. Thank you.